define the term overuse injury? Well, overuse injury means an injury that results from repetitive activity. So the term is a little bit misleading because in some cases it, it's from overdoing, but in some cases people are doing a normal level of activity and for some reason, maybe because of their mechanics um, or something about the way that they're built, their bodies just can't handle that. Okay. And what about according to some of the research studies that have come out recently, these types of overuse injuries are on the rise among young athletes. What are some of the factors? Uh, you just mentioned a couple things like mechanics and that, but what, can you go through some of the factors that really cause overuse injuries? Well, I think one thing is just the demographics of who's participating in sport and how. Um, so we're seeing a lot more kids participating in sports. Um, since uh, Title IX passed in 1973, we've seen a huge rise in women participating in sports, which is great, but it also means we have a lot more young athletes who participate because we see more athletes of both genders. Um, we also have a lot more athletes who are participating year-round uh, on multiple teams, on traveling teams. Um, and I think um, in, in Europe they have a greater focus on kind of developing your skill set and doing drills. And in the United States there's a big focus on competition. So a lot of our the young athletes that we see play in uh, multiple games even on the same day. And I think those factors all lead to an increase in overuse injuries. Uh, that's interesting that you make the comparison to Europe. On last week's show, we were talking about sports injuries and soccer players, and we had the um, soccer coach from Fordham University's uh, women's soccer team on, and he, he talked about when he was playing as a soccer player in Europe that they didn't even count goals until he was uh, beyond high school, just to emphasize the fact, uh, the fact that it was about having fun playing the sport and learning good techniques, not winning the game or trying to accumulate as many trophies as you can. Yeah, I think here we definitely have a lot of young athletes who are participating in an adult-like situation where they're on traveling teams or they're playing on three teams at once, um, whereas in Europe they really just want you to develop your skills before you start to think about the competition.